Hello everybody, Bucket Baskets here, and so um, I usually don't do the, these kinds of videos, but I really wanted just to be, be a nerd for a bit. So, if you have watched The Mandalorian whatsoever, and if you, especially if you watched the last episode, and this will probably be the only episode that I do of this because I haven't done the rest of the series, this is just a video to talk about like how much I love Dave Filoni as a, as a man, as a creator, and everything so spoilers for the upcoming mandalorian season and especially of episode five if you have not seen it go watch it now spoilers are happening in three two one though much not much of a spoiler right now but like everyone knows that ahsoka is returning um she's in this episode she was a badass and like taking down a bunch of like mercenary militia people that have terrorized the town and the Mandalorian helps her out, to, like defeat the people of this town, and um, so. Whew. Okay. So first of all, we get a name for Baby Yoda, Grogu, G R O G U. Um, that's that's a fantastic. I love that he now has a name, so we can uh, call him something else, something that like is the the child. Uh, Grogu, instead of calling them Baby Yoda, because Baby Yoda is, like, Yoda's a whole different character, it, they are not Yoda, it, it's Grogu, which is great. Second of all, um, Grand Admiral Thrun's apparently alive, which means Ezra is alive, and, I, and so my brain was just, I was like, it's just exploding, I was like, oh my gosh, they're alive? How is that possible? Where did this come from? What? Ha so that's a thing. And the third big drop of this all, Tython. I heard the name of that planet out of Ahsoka's mouth, and I was like, yo, Tython. Tython! <sighs> okay. Let's take these new steps, okay? Grand Emerald Thrawn. If those of you did not watch the Rebel series or know anything about Legends, Grand Emerald Thrawn is like one of the biggest names in Star Wars. Um, when in Legends, he was known as like, and in canon too, he's a great uh, mathematician, great uh, strategist, tactician, he understands cultures, people, I idols, and he just gets into your head and understands what you're going to do and outplays you every single moment. Um, in Legends, he was assassinated by his bodyguard. And if he was not assassinated by his bodyguard, he would blitzkrieg the New Republic and reclaim the Empire as him as Emperor. And so, in canon um he can't, comes into the scene a little earlier um and is in canon the only non-human um grand admiral or really grand anything <laughs> um in canon for the empire and he dies at the end of rebels or dies um via these strange hyperspace whales <laughs> that was a weird thing. That was really weird. Um, that took his, him and his Star Destroyer as well as Ezra through hyperspace to somewhere. Um, and we don't know. We It was like a mystery for the longest time. Then, his Rebel series, there is the Magistrate, who is this um, lady who is a very skilled um, fighter. Um, who rules over this village with her militia and um, her, like, I guess, commander or something like that. I, I don't remember his title. But um, um, I feel like they were former Imperials. Um, it's not confirmed, or nothing is confirmed in this part of it, so this is un un unknown. But I feel like she might have been a former Imperial Guard. Her stance, her ability to wield um, melee weapons in that regard, is very much like an Imperial Guard, and I feel like she was a former Imperial Guard. And then her commander, or second-in-command, um, this guy, I feel like he might have been maybe a former Stormtrooper, uh, maybe a former uh, Death Trooper, 
Um, so more of like an enforcer, but um, definitely didn't do much. <laughs> um, but apparently the magistrate knew where Grand Emerald Thrawn was, and so Ahsoka is trying to find out where this man is, and so that's amazing. Which means if they find her, that means most lo um, find Grand Emerald Thrawn, then most likely Ezra is alive who was the main character, basically the main character of Rebels. Um, and then, for those of you that love Legends, um, Tython is now canon. And that blew my mind, because Tython is a planet where the original Jedi, before they completely went to Coruscant, it was the original birthplace of the Jedi, or the Jedi, as they were in Legends. Um, and it was just stated in canon that there was a temple there. And in Legends, there was a temple, but it was a temple where a bunch of the younger, like, teenage to young adult students, would, or older students too, those that are training in the ways of the Jedi and are not children, would come there to Tython and practice and train, and then their masters would oversee their training on Tython rather than the Jedi Temple. The Jedi Temple on Coruscant is more of like a place where they would be meditating in the nights and the masters would be operating out of. Um, where uh, And so on Tython, there was the Jedi Council would meet either on Tython or on uh, Coruscant. And so, Tython is important, very important to the Legends continuity, and I'm so glad it's back, even if it doesn't have the same, uh, if, even if it's not the same kind of Tython, at least Tython is canon. Um, they brought back Korriban in a way, back in the Clone Wars, but it was called Moraband. A lot of people got upset about that, but you can still call it Korriban, because it's technically correct as well, um, but, um... But still, I am just blown away that Tython is now canon. So, if you have not watched The Mandalorian, go watch it now. Or sometime soon, because it's, it's fantastic. I, like, okay. Dave Filoni should be the head of creating everything related to Star Wars. He was a Star Wars fan when he grew up. But he's creating things like he's not a fan. Like he's an actual, like, film producer. But knows what the fans like because he grew up with these things. And so, he is literally the perfect person to be doing everything. He should become, like, if he's not already, the head of creative any everything coming out of Star Wars. Because when it wasn't him at the helm directing, everything's kind of been, like, eh, or meh, or terrible, really. Like, outside of... Rebels was great. He did not do Resistance. Oh, he didn't do the resistance, and that was a flop. He he did so. Dave Filoni he did Rebels, which is which is pretty good. It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. It had to be a little more kid friendly compared to the Clone Wars. Clone Wars was a godsend. It was beautiful. Um, and now he's helping with the direction of the of the Mandalorian. He's done. A, he's been the director of a few of the of the shows and he's helped he's co-directing a lot of them as well um and so and the mandalorian is gorgeous um there's just i feel like star wars should not go to the movies again in my personal opinion that's a video for a whole nother day <laughs> but yeah please watch the mandalorian do it thank you for listening in have a great day it's bucket of basket signing off hey <laughs> yeah, i thought it's bad